It has recently come to my attention that dog owners have some unfair advantages when it comes to the brain. So today, I would like to share with you what science has to say regarding owning a dog and the impact of that on our neurocircuitry. Exhibit A. This is a member of the family of the Canis lupus familiaris. Sit. Now this particular specimen is still a juvenile and is also commonly referred to as a puppy. The term, however, comes from the French word poupée, meaning doll. The word puppy doesn't appear to have entered the English language until the late 16th century. Before that, English speakers called baby dogs whelps. Yep, you are a whelp. So let's see, what are these nine brain benefits of owning a Canis lupus familiaris. Oxytocin. Petting your dog will have you release oxytocin. Besides the fact uh, that uh, oxytocin is known as the trust hormone, it is also known as an anti-stress hormone. It decreases blood pressure by dilating the blood vessels and this way helps relieve stress. Serotonin. Besides oxytocin, Petting your dog will also have you release serotonin in your brain. Now, serotonin is a neurotransmitter and is known as a mood stabilizator. So yes, your dog is a natural, living, breathing antidepressant. Dopamine. Now, to complete this combo, together with oxytocin and serotonin, petting and playing with your dog will also have you release dopamine. Yes, dopamine. Now, dopamine is involved in a lot of stuff, from sex, drugs and rock and roll, and to also learning and memory. So yes, your dog can help you improve your memory and your grades. The PFC. Now, besides the hormones and neurotransmitters, petting your dog will also increase brain activity in your PFC, or prefrontal cortex. So why is that a good thing? Well, the prefrontal cortex is responsible for a whole list of things, but in this particular case, what is of interest to us is that it helps us improve our emotional control. Yeah, daily works. Now, obviously, if you own a dog, you already know that that ownership comes with compulsory walks, right? At least once a day, preferably more. You need to take your canine friend here for a walk, so it can do its business. Well, those walks come with a huge benefit for your brain. A growing pile of, of literature and scientific research points out the importance of daily walks for your brain health. Yes, while walking your dog, you're actually stimulating your brain. Fewer doctor visits. Asi. Well. By now you understand that your dog, through your daily interactions with him, works like a catalyst of healthy chemicals re chemical releases and behavior. A German and Austrian long-term study of over 10,000 participants has shown that dog owners have on average 15% fewer annual doctor visits than non-owners. Slower cognitive decline. And it doesn't stop there. Research from the University of Michigan has found that owning a dog in your later years has a significant... Yeah, this side looks better. Don't show your a** to the people. Look the face, that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Research from the University of Michigan has found that owning a dog in your later years has a significant impact on slowing down cognitive decline. Yes, your dog stimulates your brain up to the point of staving off the D word. D word as in dementia. I meant dementia. Child and adolescent improved competences. And it doesn't only benefit old age. On the other end, we have children and adolescents who, who benefit as well. Dog ownership was proven to have a positive impact on their emotional, cognitive, behavioral, educational and social development. Particularly when it comes to self-esteem, loneliness and social competence. Another child, yes. Talking about children and adolescents, as a parent, your dog will initiate a similar response from your brain. Seriously, brain scans have shown that when a mother looks at her child or looks at her dog, similar brain areas lit up. These areas didn't light up when looking at pictures of other children or other dogs. Your dog truly becomes part of your family. Yes, you are family. We are family. Yes, you and me. 
Anyway, this completes our list of brain benefits of owning a dog. What, what Gerg here is not telling you is that is, is, is the other side of the story. Behind those, those good looks hide a vicious monster. A monster, I'm telling you. He needs to go out like, like all the time. And he chews. He, you, you know, he... On everything. Spe spe specifically. Specifically the souls. You know, and the, the barking. In the middle of the night, you know, like 5 a.m. And he wakes up and it stars. You know, arr, arr. And I don't sleep anymore. Do I look like I'm sleeping? I don't. I'm not sleeping. And then the poop. Oh yeah, the poop. The poop is everywhere. And, and you have to with your hands. And the smell. The smell. No. He's not a puppy. He's a poopy. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.